Once I was ink in the bathroom with my friend I walked in on my ex best friend giving head to my ex boyfriend there was a guy finger blasting a girl in the middle of the school musical performance hey y'all it's me and girl you see the title of the video I told y'all to tell me a wild confession but to tell me a wild school confession because i literally start college like next month and i'm sure the rest of y'all probably start school next month as well so i'm like let me come up with this idea yeah i got over 81 responses and if you didn't get to respond sorry so we're just gonna get straight into it i know Ms. was a student <laughs> I'm gonna blur out the name, but this is at the kids who went to my high school. You should know you should know who this person is talking about and this girl had sex in the school closet and got fingered in the hallway. In the hallway? I'm just Y'all nasty and y'all have no shame. I literally just can't imagine. My ex are over me, not a single one. That's not what I, here y'all go. Not listening again, y'all wanna tell me what y'all wanna tell me. I don't know what to do about this. Sweetheart, I'm sure you're a very nice girl or guy, but this is not what I wanted. Once I was in the bathroom and my f with my friend what because you know we was young and we wanted to experiment because we thought it was funny a teacher walked in so we both moaned extra loud so she could hear because it was a fine teacher not gonna lie we wanted her to join but she didn't um that left a dirty taste in my mouth. I have heartburn. How old were you, sweetheart? A pregnant sophomore got into a fight with her baby daddy new girlfriend. What school you go to? <laughs> Never heard nothing like that happening before. I pissed off this white dude in our class and he called me up. Oh, I think we should report this to the dean, to the principal. This should be reported. Used to continuously get effed in the song every week. You ain't tired? You haven't had enough? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to read what you just told me, but say that to yourself in the mirror and tell me if that sounds right. Tell me if you look right saying that. So I'm at school and I'm getting out and minding my business. And then I see this fine MF. So I kind of followed him throughout the halls and looked for him in the yearbook and there he was. And I found out his name and his classes and everything. Hmm. No comment. So yeah, that's my hallway crush. And yes, I know I have no life to be honest. I know this isn't going to work out because I'm shy and low key kind of ugly and he's so fine. You know, love you, man. I love you too, sweetheart, but we can't be stalking people like that, sugar. We can't be stalking people like that. I mean, well, Actually, I take that back. Anyway, you get your man. Just don't be like Joe. First of all, I don't think it's nice to call yourself ugly because I'm sure you are a very beautiful girl. And second of all, it could work out like I'm shy and I be bagging them. So clearly I'm doing something right. You just gotta yellow everything. So this happened when I was about seven or eight, I think. So I was really, really, really shy. So in class, I had to go to the bathroom and I would never ask the teacher because I was really scared they would shout at me or something. So one time I had to pee and mind you, we were like 30 kids in one classroom. That's why I was even more scared. But anyway, one time I had to pee really bad but I was scared to ask, but I had had a really big water bottle and decided to pee in it, pee in it. I'm gonna continue. I know what you're thinking. How did nobody see me? I always sat in the back of the class, but wait, that's not it. So at lunch, I had one or two friends and we would always sit together and eat lunch together. So my friend decided to grab my water bottle and drink what was inside it. I was really scared to say something because I thought she wouldn't be want to be friends anymore. She only 
drank a few sips and I and didn't suspect anything. I kind of feel sorry for her now. Um, <laughs> I understand you were shy, but I think that's evil and twisted. In middle school, I used to have a Mandarin class. I don't know how to pronounce it. And my teacher was Chinese. His name was Mr. Kane. Now in my school, most of the students were black. Every time we made him mad or upset, he used to call us monkeys. And record us with his phone after we told him that what he was saying was highly insensitive to us. As time went on, he still didn't listen and kept recording us and calling us monkeys. So one day, one of my friends decided to take his phone while he wasn't looking and hit it. We didn't want to steal a personal item of his, so his phone was still in the room. He couldn't find it and told security that one of the students stole his phone, so they had to check us all. Mind you, there's only eight of us in this class. After they searched, they saw that none of us had it. A week later, we found Mr. King had bought a new phone because his other one was still missing. The whole time it was in his cabinet behind the desk. Walker Mill was a mess. You're from here. You know Walker, you know Walker, yeah, you know. Oh, he would've got reported so bad. I would've, I would've been going to CNN. I would've been going to Fox 5. Recording him calling us monkeys. Monkeys? I ruined someone's proposal on purpose just to be petty and ended up getting jumped. You know what? That's what you get. Because why would you do that? Why would you ruin someone's... You was just feeling evil and spiteful and you decided to mess up somebody's important day and that's what you get. I'm, you probably subscribe to me and you probably follow me and you probably my friend, but I would still say that to you. That's what you get because why would you do that, girl? Them people probably didn't do nothing to you. One time in middle school, we had a long-term sub for Spanish that everyone hated. One day, a student got so fed up with him during class, they threw a desk across the classroom, threw his personal belongings out the window, and threw a rolling chart at the ceiling, causing some of the tiles to fall down. Much love from Peach County, by the way. <laughs> That's, I don't know if I wanna support this or if I wanna not support it. My teacher's dating my father, but my father got a side chick. Shame on him, he gonna get his. I heard someone getting blanked in the stall next to me and they weren't even trying to be quiet. Me? Bang, 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 bang. I'm right here. Like, I'm, I just had a sloppy joe. I'm not having a good day. Like, why are you here doing that? It's someone who has done things at school. Please explain to me why. I'm genuinely curious. Either DM me or put it in the comments down below so we all can know. Why would you do that? Why didn't you wait till you get home? Why didn't you just stay pure? why in school i can barely eat in school air i can barely breathe the school air properly it just smells funky at my friend's second period they had special education teachers in the class while the teacher was teaching the ta pulled out his vape and took a hit during class and he was right next to the teacher and he just put it back in his pocket it was a banana vape, by the way. Love you, mate. Love you, too. I just like how you inserted the one detail that didn't matter. Oh, yeah, it was banana, by the way. These two girls were caught blanking each other in the toilets. And they were supposed to be best friends. And both had boyfriends. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get why y'all did that. Y'all... Y'all cheating. Hell, go to special place for all y'all. Put the jacket back on because it got a little chilly, but let's continue. I went to the bathroom and saw a period of blood on the bathroom floor. I don't think this is wild. I just think this is, I don't even want to say it's normal, but things happen. She probably didn't even know. Blank people, multiple, if, <laughs> First of all, I'm blurring out my school. Who are you, big dog? Who are you? Because you sound confident. Who are you? Because <laughs> you must follow me. Who is... I'm about to go on an adventure because who is this? Because this is somebody that go to my school, y'all. And I don't know who this is supposed to be. But... And then you're going to put the... You're going to put the... 
like you're doing something. You're not eating it up. You're not eating it up. That's nasty. That's trifling. Multiple? You must be lying. I don't know who you are. Me and my BF gave each other head at school. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. I can't. I was going to say more, but literally just go home. What is it? Is it the adrenaline and the, the thrill of like, oh my God, are you going to get caught? <laughs> no, musty, get off me. And if a man, let me, let me put the iPad down. If, if a man ever says, baby girl, let's go to the school bathroom, let's go to the school locker room, you break up with him and you push him and you punch him in the face. Cause how dare you disrespect me as a woman? I know my worth and I know I, I look way better than a school bathroom. And you have the audacity to disrespect me like that? Don't let no man disrespect you like that. That is disrespectful. That is disrespectful. Don't ever date no man. No, don't ever allow your man to do that to you because then break it off. Because what? This girl named Rachel, she's basically a player and usually goes after all the boys that enter. So she and him talk, they're friends. Next thing he meets another girl named Chris. So they become friends too. Chris helps him with his schoolwork, labs, etc. Fast forward, Rachel and Alex are together, but Chris has a crush on him, but Rachel had a man outside of school. So she was dating two people. <laughs> Shame on you, Rachel. And Alex knew about the other boyfriend and basically the two of them were going to fight for her. Who Rachel looked like? Then she disappeared for months too. But Alex broke up with her and moved to Chris and boy, everyone knew he was playing her. Next thing, Rachel moved to the other boy in school named Ryan. So she stuck to Ryan and he just broke up with the gal who also cheated. So basically everyone cheated and wanted to make others jealous. I think Alex and Chris are still together though for whatever reason. Enjoy your day slash night. Thank you, you two. Um, shout out my Caribbean um, subscribers out there. P.S. There's more stories with Rachel and Ryan, but if you ever do any more of these, I will comment them. Yes, sister girl, we want to hear it all because this I'm intrigued. And I went to Matt and this girl was being extremely toxic and racist to my friend every day. So I faked being friends with her and then spread rumors and told everyone that she got pregnant and the dad was Alex. Oh, oh, recap. Oh, this is not our Alex, y'all. This is not our Alex, this popular boy. I thought this was, I thought this was our Alex for a second. But after he found out he dropped out of school and, and she moved across the country. As you should. I'd do the same thing if I was you two. We need friends like this girl right here, sticking up for her friends and making girls move across the country. In my old primary school, it's like it never had toilet paper. So some of the kids, when they pooped, they would wipe with their hand and wipe it on the wall. Okay. See, this is the school's fault. First of all, I would I just thought about it. That's just so like nasty and just so. Shame on the school for making these kids. Shame. One time at school, there was like this huge group and there was two groups and they started a food fight. Then free time, they all was fighting and things and everyone got in trouble and there was like half of the people not at school the next day some class I used to watch corn and class when i was in fourth grade you just nasty and why did you have a phone in the fourth grade someone needs to take your electronics away and put you in timeout for a very long time this is so embarrassing but when i was in second grade my teacher asked the class a question and everyone was raising their hand but i was all the way in the back and raised my hand because i had to use the bathroom i kept calling her name but she didn't hear me during the time if i went up to her she would yell at me and i couldn't leave the classroom without letting her know when i was younger i was very anxious to do anything that would get me in trouble i was overall shy so i couldn't hold it in so i peed in class and had to go home you know what if if I was little and I was in second grade, I would have pistol on the floor. Cause how dare you yell at me? I am a child. I am a child. And you you didn't you're not gonna let me go to the bathroom. I am a child. So basically this girl that I had beef with during school posted that she got in a car accident. I'm on your side, girl. 
two boys had blank in the bathroom. Wow, seems as though it's not just girls and girls and girls and boys. It's boys and boys too. Y'all men need to have some class. Like I already said that before, but when I was in sixth grade, this girl hated me for being friends with her crush. She was 12, he was 14. Mm. She would get her friends to try and bully me who isn't good at sticking up for herself or she would usually just gossip about us to her crush. But one day I, while I was in gym with my friends, she and her friends started recording me. I was so scared that she would post it because the video she took of me was kind of embarrassing. Fortunately, she didn't post it, but I don't know if she still has a video. I don't really think this is wild, but oh well. Girl, who's the girl? Because at this point, we all going to jump her. Because it's, ne it's never that serious. How are you mad at me? Because I'm friends with your crush. That don't make no sense. How you mad at me? I didn't do nothing to you. It's not like I'm sitting up here, bang, 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 bang. You're crushing. First of all, we are 12 and 14 and 13 and 10. Get your stuff together. Start worrying about that Nintendo Switch that you're charging at home. Worry about the le the next Lunchable you're going to bring to lunch tomorrow. Why are you worried about me and worried about a man? In third grade, this girl and boy from my class snuck into the staircase. Mind you, this is a private school, so it's cameras everywhere. And the girl sucked the boy. <laughs> she clamped. No, goodbye. Then switched up and said the boyfriend. Hell, I'm losing my marbles. She said it forced into. First of all, you in the third grade. How you know about? How you know about doing that? Third grade, I was doing my little timetables charts. You know, you know, like where they give you like, come on, you got, you got three minutes to finish these timetables and you get an A. I don't know what type of drugs these kids are on, but they are on a good kind. I caught the special ed kid jerking off to my friend scratching her leg and I told our officer and he said that my monkey, wow, I shouldn't have been watching him. It made me sit in front of the office for an hour in his head. Friend, friend, friend. No, who telling me I'm locked up? They won't let me. You was handcuffed in his office. I, you ain't even have to tell me he was white. I knew he was white when he called you a monkey. I knew that. First of all, I don't, I don't care what the special ed kid did. Was that was very like hello we all need home training we all we all need home training that's a lawsuit you don't do that to children you have kept me captive and you did a hate crime on me you called me a monkey and pretty much you called me the n-word so you're going to jail you're going to jail prison not really my confession but my friend told me that in second grade her friend forced her to make out with her and another girl the other two girls that weren't my friends probably did more than make out wow second grade must have been a wild crazy time for you guys because i was doing my time tables i don't get it i knew this was gonna happen i knew this was gonna happen i knew this, it was gonna be one of them i almost kissed my cousin because i was very young and didn't know the difference between a kiss on the cheek and a kiss on the lips my cousin was old enough to tell the difference though and thankfully stopped me well, I mean, I knew there's gonna be some sort of cousin love and stuff, but I mean, if you was like two, three, that, that's okay, cause you know, we not kids don't really know better. This one time my friend went into the bathroom before third period and she saw two girls in the same stall and they were doing the nasty. What did I say? I said, go home. Like, I don't get it. Is there some, is there something trendy about it that I have, may have missed while in high school? Like, is there something fun and I don't get it. <laughs> we once had eight fights in the same day. Okay. <laughs> there was a guy <laughs> finger blasting a girl in the middle of the school musical performance. And it was a freshman and a senior. Time is here, summer time. Seniors 
that be messing with the freshmen, you got a special place in hell. Special. I mean, real special. I walked in my, um, well, I can't even talk. I walked in on my ex-best friend giving head to my ex-boyfriend. I promise you, it's okay to fight people. It's really okay. If you got YouTube, it's not what you think it is. I, I didn't I didn't say I didn't say you should do it. I fell down a muddy hill and everyone saw it. It looked like I had dookie on my trousers. Girl, you ain't got nothing to worry about compared to these. Trust me, you are okay. I had a crush on this girl for about two years now. We're about to be seniors and we are officially dating, but she never told her parents. So it's been four months. Towards the end of the school year last year, we went to the bathroom to skip class, but things got out of hand, if you know what I mean. Just nasty. We were making out and our hands were in each other's pants in the stall, but then we heard the door open and got quiet because we didn't want to get caught. Turned out it was one of the 12th grade teachers that claims to have heard us from the hallway and demanded us to come out of the stall. My girlfriend was scared and at this point I'm just ready to get out and get in trouble. I come out first and the teacher's waiting on my girlfriend who is literally petrified. So the teacher walks over to the stall and sees my girlfriend, looks at me with my pants still unbuttoned and stormed off without saying a word. Once my girlfriend calmed down, she then explained to the teacher that she found us was her mother out of all people. It's summer and we haven't seen each other in person since then, but we recently got our schedules for senior year and it turns out her mother is going to be my homeroom teacher. Wait, I wasn't reading, but I was reading the mom. Wait, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. If I calm down, she didn't explain that the teacher that found us was her mother. Oh, no, no. I wonder if she was literally shaking in her boots. Wait, <laughs> I just thought about something. If my mom worked at my school, oh, I'd be on my best behavior. Come on, come on, take drugs with us. Come on, let's do something crazy in the bathroom. Nah, big dog, that's all you. That's all you, big dog, I swear, that's all you. I don't know if I would be able to breathe. I am so sorry to the girlfriend, because my goodness, that's gonna be awkward. If you guys want a part two, you know what to do. Give me about like 10 likes and y'all get a part two. For this video, you know what to do, girl. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's her own notification bell. So you remind about every time that I post a video, girl, duh. And also follow me on Instagram because Instagram is the first to know when I post a video, duh. And TikTok, you can see my clips on there too. And you could just follow me because I'm pretty, so. Lesson of the day, stop doing nasty trifling stuff in school bathrooms, in school locker rooms, in school hallways. Have class, be a lady.